Hello, FM. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, an even day. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Diego. And in today's announcements, happy National School Counseling Week. Stop in to say hi to your school counselor and play the FM counselor version of Family Feud. The first nine students to get one of the top answers on the board correctly will get a prize. There will be a new question for each day. Hope to see you this week. The Counseling Center is celebrating P.S. I Love You Day this Friday. By wearing purple to take a stand against bullying and help end depression, activities will be in the cafeteria during lunches. Join Red Cross Club tomorrow in room 1121 to learn about substance use and to work on a project with a group of friends that will be showcased to the school. Chem Club will be meeting it tomorrow in Mrs. Hans's room 2215 to make chocolate. Hope to see you there. Thespian Troop will be holding a meeting in the black box tomorrow. Attendance is mandatory for all members. If you have any questions, see Mr. Engel in room 1204 or contact one of the officers for more information. And now over to Jeremy. Thanks, Diego. The class of 2024's Valentine's Day is coming up. Come to the foyer this week after school to buy yourself or your friends a bag of Valentine's candy for $2. Interested in participating in Unified Bowling? See Mrs. Zonetti in room 2140 to get on the list. Practices will be the week before break with matches in February and March. Want to enjoy some amazing food, performances, activities, and more? Come to FM Diversity's Coalition Annual Culture Fest this Saturday, February 10th from 12 to 2.30 to enjoy yourself while learning about other cultures around the world. It's only five bucks at the door. Next, here's Addie Benz with a recap of the boys' volleyball season this past fall. This year, the boys' varsity volleyball team had a very successful season, with a 15-3 record going 7-1 in the Salt City Athletic Conference. This season, the team has been working hard to improve what they call spooky volleyball. Most of these players have been playing together since middle school, which has contributed to them really loving the sport and forming a strong connection on and off the court that can't be coached. I would describe this team as um, love. They, they love to play, they love each other, they love the coaches, they love the sport. Um, they're really good. My kids were around, I have four young kids and Coach Gangloff's kids were around and they loved them and they included them. Um, yeah, it was just kind of, it was a really awesome season because of that. The team was able to make it all the way to the sectional finals, but unfortunately fell short to CNS. Although their season did not go as planned, the bonds these players have created will for sure last a lifetime. For FMTV, I'm Addie. Tonight is a quiet night for Hornet sports, but rest up for this weekend. Friday night, both varsity basketball teams will take on Fulton. Hockey will wrap up their season against CBA, and then on Saturday, wrestling competes in sectionals at the SRC Arena. Go Hornets! Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Diego. Have a, Have great, a great day, day FM. FM.